Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on November the 15th, 2019. Just a quick disclaimer here, this is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business so please be careful with your money. As usual, we will start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Um, all right, so coming up here uh, in terms of our news, we have um, RBA, so a couple of central bankers back to back here. We also have industrial production numbers from Japan. On Friday here though, a bunch of US data. We do start off in the Euro session with C uh, final CPI numbers. These are the inflation numbers for the Eurozone as well as the trade balance numbers here. Um, so this will be, this is important because when the central banks talk about monetary policy, uh, the CPI number is one of the core numbers that they are looking for. So any sort of uh, numbers going down here will have negative impact um, on the Eurozone. We also have retail sales numbers. Um, so these are important again. Um, and if you get negative numbers and actually any of them, anything that's below expectations here will have a negative impact on the US dollar. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so there is also um, this kind of stuff that we have been seeing. Um, today, it was like earlier uh, um, in the, I think it was the Euro session, we uh, saw China come out and say that they were rolling back some of the tariffs. And now this one just came out. It says uh, they're getting close to a trade deal with China. Anytime we hear comments like that, they are positive for the stock market and they are uh, positive for um, yen crosses, but negative for yen itself. So um, if we keep hearing these kind of comments into tomorrow, into the trading day, we are likely to see the yen crosses go up. Uh, and the equity markets uh, tend to go up with these comments as well. Now, um, the trade deal is not done yet. President Trump had also mentioned this in his, um, in his speech a couple of days ago, but we don't actually have it yet. Uh, however, any kind of continuation in these kind of comments are likely to push things up. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go into our, go to our charts here. We'll start off as usual with our Euro dollar. So Euro here, we saw that price try to break down here, but it wasn't able to hold below the support level. And now we have a bullish engulfing candle close here. So bias is bullish, but just keep in mind, we are into this support resistance level here, uh, right into this level. So what could happen is if price does not break through, it can drop here. So just be mindful of this um, type of uh, move here, but it's looking bullish right now. So um, I'm looking for price to go higher towards 1.1050. And then we do have support resistance um, over here as well. And actually let me use, uh, yeah. So we have support resistance into this level here as well. So we could see price go up and then it could become a range bound potentially. Uh, that will depend on the type of data that comes out. But for now, bias is bullish. First target here is 1.1050. Only if it gets through that, um, I would look for price to go higher. But um, do keep in mind that price could become a range bound at this level here. So that's something to be um, careful about. It, it can just start trading in this range here. Uh, because as we can see for the last several days here, price is compressing. It is moving lower, but it hasn't, it doesn't really seem to have the same amount of momentum that it had before. So it's just basically stalling. So sideways um, moves tends to happen when we see this type of price action. So right now, though, slightly bullish, looking for it to go towards the top of this range here, towards 1.1050, and only if it goes through this would I look for the next level at 1.1080. So for now, bias here is bullish for uh, euro dollar. Pound dollar here, this one as well, we see price go up. It, um, it bounced off of the support level here for 
last three days price hasn't been able to break the support and um, it moved up higher now. Uh, we are still in this range. So for the last four days, this is where price has been stuck. So it is bullish bias here, but I would be cautious because if it doesn't break through this high at 1.2900, it can still come back down um, towards the bottom of this range that it's been trading in. So there isn't any kind of strong um, a reason for it to be going in either direction, uh, but it is bullish. And once it crosses the 1.2900, then we have lots of room for price to go higher towards 1.2980. So bullish bias, 1.2900 first target, 1.2980 is the second target, but with caution because if it doesn't go through, uh, it's not making it higher. It can just become range bound. But for now, it's bullish. Uh, Aussie dollar here, yesterday we saw uh, data that was not positive here for um, Australian dollar as a result, a big drop here in Aussie. Now we do have a bearish candle close here. So bearish bias for Aussie, I would look for price to move lower. Do watch out for pullbacks though. When we have such big moves, we can get pullbacks and um, then a further move to the downside. So bias is bearish. Uh, potential pullback into one zero point six eight zero zero, and then looking for a drop further. First target is um, actually zero point six seven four zero, and then beyond that we have uh, zero point six seven two zero. So zero point six seven four zero, and then zero point six seven two zero. Bearish bias here for Aussie. New Zealand dollar here, yesterday we saw the big move um, up because the Reserve Bank of New Zealand actually held the rates. Now it has moved back here. What I was looking for here would be a potential hold above the top of the range, but price has come back into the range. So if price stays in the range here, I will look for price to move back down towards this support level here at 0 0.6320. So here bias is bearish. Uh, first target is 0 0.6320. Second target here is 0 0.6280. So bearish bias here for New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar CAD here, we have a bearish uh, candle here. We have a doji. So looking for price to drop, do look for a potential retest of this 1.32 um, six, seven level, and then a potential drop, but bearish bias 1.3230 is the first target. And then the second target is 1.3200. So bias here is bearish for um, dollar CAD. Gold here, sorry, silver here. Silver is a holding, kind of going sideways here at the moment. Prices right into this resistance a uh, support resistance point here we have a neutral candle close for the day now if we hear more comments about the us and china reaching an agreement or being close to reaching an agreement this is likely to drop back down here and go back towards 16.60 but overall over the last couple of days it does have a bit of a bullishness in here so it's just pulling back and we could see a pullback towards this 17.36 area or 17.40 and then we could see a drop so that one that is quite likely but if we hear more comments about us and china reaching an agreement that will be negative for silver and we could see a drop uh, so keep that in mind at this point it is into support resistance level and if it holds below the 17.10 i will look for it to come back into this range here otherwise bias is bullish 17.36 um, is the next target here for silver gold here this is looking bullish but it is into resistance so this is where price was stuck um, holding above this level and now it's on the other side of it if it doesn't go through, I would look for a drop right here. If it doesn't go through, we're basically looking for a move down towards this pin here. So this is the support resistance level where price turned um, before, and now we could get a move back down here 
like I said, any comments about agreement are likely to cause that move to the downside. And then we'll see a move towards 1446. Uh, but based on just the purely the technicals, without taking into account any comments, this is looking bullish, uh, but into resistance. So once it gets to the other side, I will look for the next level here at 1492. So it's bullish, but with caution because there is room for this to turn. Oil here went right into our resistance and dropped from there. So bias is bearish here. Now this has been trading in this range for several days now, over a week. So looking for price to drop towards 56 um, level here. 56 is the first target. And then we have 55.20 as the second target. So bias is bearish for oil. Copper here, um, nice drop here. We are right into our first target level from yesterday. Um, next one here is 2.50. So bearish bias. Um, and then 2.53. So bias is bearish for copper. Bitcoin here looking bearish still. Next target here is 83.40. So back into the support level here. Bias uh, is bearish for Bitcoin here. S&P 500 uh, still pushing higher here. Um, this one is another pin bar here. It did drop, but then pushed higher. Now, again, any comments in regards to agreement being reached will be bullish and they're likely to push this market through the resistance level. Uh, but it is compressing. So if you take a look at the one hour chart, we see that price looks as if it's moving higher, but it hasn't actually made much progress in the last three days. So what can happen with these type of, uh, this type of price action is that price pretends to move, uh, move higher. It tries to move higher, but just cannot gain enough momentum to get over this hump here. And then generally it tends to turn around. So we get this rounded top formation. Um, now that tends to happen from a technical perspective, but again, if we get um, some stuff coming into the market that is positive, like the US and China reaching a trade agreement, that creates really positive sentiment and that sentiment usually pushes the market over. Um, so right now, market is just waiting for that agreement. And if we actually get any kind of confirmation or China comes and says, yeah, we are removing the tariffs or US comes and says we are removing the tariffs. US already just said that they are close to reaching an agreement. President Trump made that point um, a couple days ago as well. Any more comments that are positive is likely to push this higher. But for now, again, I would be careful being overly bullish as long as price is below 31 because it can quite easily drop here and come back towards this uh, bottom of this range. So just be mindful of that. It is bullish, but with caution, once price goes through 3,100, we are looking at 3,120 for S&P 500. So bullish bias for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, this has been trading in this range for some time now, for over a week, price is stuck at this level. Uh, the candle close today is neutral, price opened and closed at exactly the same level here. So this one could actually drop. So just keep that in mind, 81.80 will be the target, but bias is neutral for NASDAQ. Dow Jones here, this one, this one is neutral here as well. It did move higher. It made a higher high. So for the last couple of days, it has been making higher high. It has made low, um, higher low. So it can go higher again, but it's at all time high. So comments that are positive, a US and China will likely move this higher as well. So first target is I'm looking for retest of the high of today, which is uh, 2780. And that will be our decision point right now. Um, it's still it's still moving higher, so overall bias still remains to be it remains to the upside. And once it breaks through the high, it can go to the next level here. So this is the type of move I am looking for here. But again, if it doesn't break through today's high, we are likely to see um, a reversal here as well, at least towards the uh, towards twenty seven five hundred. So 
we're just waiting to see how it performs at the high. Uh, but for now, uh, overall bias is bullish, but look for some uh, neutral move here as well. DAX still trading in this range. It's holding above the support level here. Um, so overall, still sitting in this range, all the indices are waiting basically to see how this agreement stuff plays out here. Um, if it holds above uh, 13,150, I'm looking for it to go higher towards 13,300 towards the top of the range. And if it uh, goes through that, then I'm looking for 13,400. So right now, uh, bias is neutral for DAX. FTSE here is looking bearish here. So we could see a further drop towards 7,200 level here, back into the support. So bearish bias for FTSE. And last but not least, we have Nikkei here. Nikkei actually dropped. So bias here is bearish. Um, look for pullback into 23,250, uh, potentially, no, no, sorry. Uh, 23,000 to 40, and then a potential drop here. So if it stays below this level, I would look for a drop. And support here is um, 22,960. So bias is bearish for Nikkei. So that's it for today. But just keep an eye on the comments for US and China. All right, I will see you later. Bye for now.